Okay, my first YouTube video, deep breath. My name is Michelle and I'm coming to you from Peachy Clean HQ, AKA my house, where hey, dirt happens. Today, we're gonna be talking about dusting. Okay, so before we get started, I'd like to show you guys some of the tools that you're gonna need to do an awesome dusting job. The first is a clean but old sock. Hello. A makeup brush, a lint free cloth, a microfiber dusting glove, and last but not least, a lint roller. That was loud. Nah, man. So they say variety is the spice of life, and there are so many different concoctions you can use to dust with. Some people choose to swing the green way and use a DIY dusting spray, which works great. But I like to use Orange Glow because it smells awesome and it cleans, shines, and protects. So let's do this thing. The first thing I like to do is just to take a lint roller and go over my lamp shades to rid them of any dust that's been hanging around. All right, so now that we have that done, I want to take my sock and put that on one hand, and some people like to cut a hole in the side, it gives their thumb a better grip. And then take my dusting glove, put that on the other hand, and take the orange glow and spray it on the sock. And we're ready to dust some furniture. Anyone else channel their inner Michael Jackson when they're wearing just one glove? Now, I'm nothing if not a klutz, so to avoid breaking things, I move them as little as possible. Obviously, anything that is wood, I'll go over with my soft hand, and anything that is not is gonna get the glove treatment. So here we come to our huge flat screen TV. And with these types of screens, it usually is just best to use a lint-free cloth dampened with water to clean them. And I have my cloth folded into two sections here. And I'm going to get the, the front section wet with some water. And then I'm going to leave the back section dry. I'm going to first use the damp part of my cloth to wipe down the screen and the area around the screen. Then I use the dry portion to get rid of any streaks or water spots. Okay, so I know you guys are asking, but Michelle, we haven't used the makeup brush yet. Well, buck up buttercup, cause that's next. Soft brushes, such as makeup and paint brushes, are perfect for doing detail work. Just dampen with a little water and voila, dust-free nooks and crannies. I do have one final tip, and that is that I like to move along the edges of the room from one end to the other, and then move into the things that need to be dusted in the middle of the room. That way I make sure that I don't miss anything. And there you have it, a dusted living room. Well, dusting enthusiasts, I hope you've enjoyed my first YouTube video. When's the last time you gave your rooms a good dust? You can holla, I will holla back. You can let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, etc. You can find me all over the internet. I am on Facebook, Pinterest, Google+, and my website, which is all linked below.